of an oil pipeline leaked up to 70,000 liters of crude oil in the Lone River on Quiet Island last Saturday, contaminating drinking water for the nearby towns of Cheryl, Linville, and Hope, all crossed by the river. State and local officials cannot say precisely how long the cleaning operations will last. Cheryl Mayor Edward Miller expects it will take time. The city of Linville has begun detecting contaminating benzene in the water since Monday, two days after the spill. The pipeline had a 10-year history of problems that caused the fury and indignation of the island's inhabitants. It seems that the pipeline accident was the straw that broke the camel's back, triggering throngs of reactionaries against Petro Mobil and Thomas Barkley, president of the oil company, for many years. Hundreds of protesters marched outside of Barkley's private villa with signs and banners. Other protests for the oil spill took place in front of the branches and at the company's filling stations throughout the island. There have also been acts of vandalism with smears of black paint on the gates of the private properties of Thomas Barkley and its closest relatives. Thank you. 
Are you looking for someone? Don't look at the mirrors. You know it's dangerous. I know. Did you hear that too? Heard what? You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know. Don't lie to me. It's... It's back. And it's close. It's coming! No, it's not true. True? Are you sure you know it's true? <laughs> talking. We've arrived. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you accept this case? Because it's my job. It was your job. Are you doing this for the boy or for yourself? Maybe I'm doing it for both. Mr. Burton? Yes, it's me. Welcome to Quiet Island. Get on board. Mr. Barkley is waiting for us. Did you enjoy the ferry boat? Yeah, except for the bathroom. Was terrifying. I assume you know the situation. Partly. Mr. Barkley prefers to avoid giving details over the phone. Oh, well. A riot broke out after the oil spill. The damage is severe, and this makes every single inhabitant of the island a potential suspect. Anyone here would hurt Mr. Barkley and his family. This can complicate things. Does anyone except me know about the disappearance of the kid? Just the police, but Mr. Barkley doesn't trust them, so we turn to you. In the afternoon, the kidnapping will be made public, and the press will start doing their job. Any ransom offer? Nothing at all. And you? Me? Yes. Tell me something about your special abilities, your gift. Exactly what is it? Magic? Voodoo? Palmistry? None of that. I dream. I see things. Hmm, that's interesting. I dream too, but probably your dreams are more interesting than mine. Yeah, probably. Rest now. The road ahead is still long.
a great man with a large house. I'm curious to meet him. No! Marty! Wait! Wait! What's this? It's happening again! Where did we end up? What does it mean? Are you dreaming, Marty? The dreams has its rules, Marty. Respect them, and we'll emerge unscathed. dark in here. It scares me. What strange objects? Do you find something familiar in all this? No. Uh, I... I have no idea what this stuff is. Flashlight, please.
I told you he was back and you didn't listen to me! Arthur! That's enough. Stop that. Welcome, Mr. Burden. Mr. Barkley awaits you in his office. Please go up the stairs, second door on the left. Welcome, Mr. Burton. I got here as quick as I could. Please, sit down. Let's talk. I asked Charles for the utmost discretion. I hope nobody saw you together. You can imagine the reason why. Yes, it seems that the people here hate you. If they see us together, they may have problems. That's right. Oh, you're as careful as the reporters described you. They don't know anything about me. What do they call you? The man of dreams? Suggestive. Well, do you think you can help me? I'm here to try. Of my three daughters, Elizabeth was the only one who gave me the joy of a grandson. Simon. And now... They have taken him away. I want your help, Mr. Burton. I want you to bring Simon back to me. When and where was your grandson last seen? At home, more than 48 hours ago. His mother and father were absent for work, and when they returned, Simon was gone. The maid who looked after him was hit in the head during the kidnapping and lost consciousness. She doesn't remember anything. We scoured the entire island with the help of the police. But we didn't find anything. Hmm. Your assistant told me that a ransom was not requested. So, if someone kidnapped him, he's not interested in your money. Do you have any suspicions? There would be one person in particular. A violent activist and reactionary. Frank Bundy. Hated me and my family for years. Has several precedents for vandalism and unauthorized demonstrations against my company. He's the owner of a bar in Linville, and some farms scattered around the island. He's even threatened me on several occasions. A team of detectives is already keeping an eye on him. A team? Yes, they were hired by my daughters. They don't know about you, Mr. Burton. Nobody knows about your presence here. I no longer trust anyone on this island. 
So I would like for you to work for me secretly. Agree. Hmm. I believe I have everything I need. You have my phone number. Don't hesitate to call me if you need any information, and my assistant will be at your complete disposal for anything. In that envelope, you'll find some useful information for the case. Are you feeling well, Mr. Burton? Do you want a glass of water? You look hot. No, I... I, I think... Uh, I have to go now. But when will the investigation begin? It's already begun. The sun is going down. Soon, it'll be dark. We need a safe place to spend the night. There is no safe place. You know that. The house on the lake. The house on the lake? Are you sure? Yes. Maybe for the first time in my life, ah! that bastard will be useful to me. Have you seen the, the sign? It doesn't matter. Maybe it's just some kid's joke. A joke? Open your eyes! It's him! It's... It's here. Keep calm. We can handle it. We've already done it. Somebody threw a birthday party, and we're the only ones invited. Maybe we're the only ones who accepted the invitation.
That's how it is. No, hey, don't look at it. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Your fear isn't real, but you believe it because it seems real to you. Even dreams are unreal, but we believe it because they seem real. Fear and dreams are identical. Same substance, same material. What do you want from me? I'll come to get you.
We're safe. For now. Do you think he'll be back? I don't want to think about it. You need to rest, Marty. You haven't slept in hours. Your grandparents' house is the right place. <sighs> I hope so. Nobody has been in it for years. I have no idea how it is reduced. Uh, we just have to find out. What kind of people were your grandparents? I don't know. I never knew them. At home, it was forbidden to talk about them. Why? Well, I think he hated them. But after all, that madman hated everyone. What happened to them? Well, my grandmother disappeared when he was just a kid. Disappeared without leaving any trace. What about your grandfather? Well, he drank. He drank a lot. He died a few years later, consumed by alcohol. But that's all I know. Not even my mother was allowed to talk about him.